Hi guys, this is Christian from Wingsurfer.nl. Here we have the Axis HPS 1050. It's the largest front wing from the HPS series. It's got an area of about 1500 and it's a high aspect foil. I mainly use it for light winds or when there are small waves for SUP foiling or prone foiling. If you, if you are looking for a foil for light winds or what I said, small waves and you're coming from a higher, a lower aspect wing, this might be the wing, next wing you're looking for. I've been using this 1050 front wing for about half a year now. It's very easy and forgiving. Uh, I use it with light winds. So I use it with wings ranging from five up to eight meters. Um, although it's a high performance speed wing, it doesn't actually need a lot of wind to get going. If you compare it to like the 1010 PNG front wing from Axis, it's actually the, the difference in the speed you need to get going is not a lot. Although this wing is a lot faster. If you compare it even more to the PNG 1010, uh, the 1010 um, is a pump and glide front wing. This means um, you just need a little bit of wind and just a little bit of speed and pump the wing up and you go. Um, Basically the 1050 does the same, but it just needs a little bit more speed to get it pumping. However, once it's up to speed and you're going, um, it's so much, you can pump this wing so much faster than the 1010. And actually also um, when going without a wing, wing uh, when using this SUP, I found I can pump this front wing further than the 1010. It just needs to keep up the speed. So if you're going faster, it's actually easier to keep it going. And um, it's much more playful than the 1010. So since I'm using this front wing, I haven't touched the 1010 anymore. So when to choose this front wing? Well, I'm 85 kilos, um, so I use it as a light wind foil, uh, also for SUP foiling when the waves are small. Um, it's quite wide, so I don't use it for jumping. It's, I paired it with a sh short fuselage from Axis. At the moment I'm also using the 375 progressive tail wing. But that's mainly because I'm on holiday. I only brought one. If I'm back in Holland, I, I would normally take uh, a rear ring that's a little bit larger. Just gives it a bit more control. Though this still works really well. If you're used to a low aspect foil at the moment and you manage to get your first jibes going, your tags, you manage to stay up on the foil, but you want to go a little bit faster, uh, this could be a good next step. Um, this foil, because it's, the aspect ratio is quite high, but it's easy and fun to go on, um, it could be a logical next step. Because it's faster, but still has a lot of surface area, it will make it easy to keep on learning more new moves. So new tags, uh, different jibes, uh, maybe with a bit more speed in them, so they become a bit more natural. Um, yeah, this, this foil might be the one for you. Uh, if you want to go even faster, um, you might be interested in the art series. Um, they are a bit more difficult to handle, so that would be the next level foil. But if you're looking for uh, your next foil after your low aspect ratio foil, Look at the HPS series, and if you're like 85 kilos, like me, or a bit less or more, go for the biggest one, the 1050.